In this episode, I'm joined by my friend and visual artist, Have O, to talk about live streaming, games, and artwork on platforms like Twitch and YouTube, to talk about being an entrepreneur, you heard that correctly, and some of his favorite shows and films like Interstellar, Akira, Reboot. So if this sounds like an episode, you know, that's of interest to you, definitely stay tuned. Welcome, Hab. Thank you for joining me. I know it's been a long time coming. Um, You so graciously had me on your live stream platforms last year for a series that you did, and that was great. And I did not think it was going to take this long to get you on uh, the show, but you are here, and that's what's most important. Can you share with my viewers slash listeners where you're from and what you do? Yeah. Um, first of all, I'm glad to finally be on the pod. I mean, this is this is kind of like a dream come true because I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I was like, oh, my day is going to come. It's finally here. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm Hab, as you already know, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised. And yeah, I mean, native New Yorker. I'm here to, you know, just show people how authentic we can be. And that comes with a lot of great hustle and, and tenacity. So uh, hopefully a lot of people enjoy that. Who is we? That you're referring to we as in when i refer to we i always talk about us as a collective because i feel like no matter where a new yorker goes we kind of like bring new york with us you know okay so what industry do you occupy or are you working in do you contribute to uh i would like to say that i'm i'm kind of i have my hands in different pots or my finger in different pots so uh, by trade, I am a visual artist, uh, but I also started streaming not too long ago. So I've been taking that up and doing a little, you know, game streams and, and drawing streams here and there. Uh, and I also am an educator as well. So I teach in uh, programs at different public schools. And um, that's been going on for about five or six years now. Cool. And did you go to school for any of the things that you're currently doing? I did initially a couple of years, a few well. Well, now it's like, what, 10, 15 years now. Um, (laughs) We're old. Uh, I did initially, but uh, mostly everything I do has been through self-taught and and experience. Okay, cool. So because I know you do so many different things, what actually are you doing now in this moment? I feel like when we first met and befriended each other, you were working in a school environment. but of course, with the pandemic and everything sort of happening, what what do you do right now? Well, I'm actually in this really interesting transitional period with my career. Um, I had some self reflection a couple of weeks ago. I'm trying to like pivot to to not newer things, but a more efficient way of doing the things I was doing before. So uh, right now, I am working on a uh, small, a short comic, a short story uh, called Moniqua and the Bedside Blade, which I'm hoping that will be out before the year's up. But uh, that's something I'm putting a lot of my my focus into in terms of the art. And I actually, ironically enough, just started going back into the uh, teaching aspect as well. So um, I'm with the school locally here in, in Brooklyn, and that's been that's been going pretty well so far, even though I will say, given the the I don't want to say post COVID world, but mm-hmm. given the the new regulations that we've had, it does feel very different from what it used to feel like two years ago. And are you teaching art or are you teaching other subjects? Art. So uh, the the class that I usually design and make curriculum for is based around character and comic design. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Just for more asking, what age group? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's usually typically fourth and fifth grade, but I've have um, classes for second and third um, in prior prior okay. years. Yeah. yeah. Just because like in 2019, I had a very brief stint teaching um, stop motion really to, what was it, third, fourth and fifth graders or kids going into third, fourth and fifth grade in the summer. And mm-hmm. I was like, never, <laughs> never again. Too much for you? What? Yeah, no, absolutely not. I I do like kids and I do enjoy kids. I just really don't like um, being in a school setting. 
the school setting, I definitely will say, will hinder the experience, especially if you have certain ideas. Sometimes they might conflict with what the principal might want or the program director might want. So it's, it's a lot of uh, walking on eggshells from time to time. So I definitely can get that. Yeah. And then yeah. also, if you're in a school that just doesn't have access to resources or funds, so you definitely causes you to be more innovative. Um, yeah. you know, you're dealing with students that are coming in with their own experiences and mm -hmm. maybe don't care about whatever it is you have to do. Like they, and it's the summer too. They want to be outside. They want to be playing all this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um,